Hello friends, here we are. The final chapter in The Big Cheese by Eve Bunting, illustrated by Sal Murdoga. Dun, 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 dun. Chapter six, chapter six. Early the next morning, Miss B and Miss Tilly saw people coming up the hill. They were carrying buckets and plates. Miss Tilly and Miss B slid pats of butter onto platters and poured milk into buckets. A friend in need is a friend indeed, Miss Tilly told everyone, and they all agreed. Now that's a saying I like. All through the summer and into the fall, the villagers came. They brought gifts of cabbages and apples and eggs still warm from the hen. Fair exchange is no robbery, Miss Tilly would say, or one good turn deserves another, and she would smile. Miss Tilly smiled more than she used to. Giving will do that. Makes you smile. The shelves in the little old house creaked beneath the weight of all the food. Guests came to share and sometimes stayed for supper. And the nights were warm with talk and laughter. The more the merrier, Miss Tilly, Miss Tilly told each new caller. The hand that gives gathers. One evening, as they sat in their rockers before going to bed, Miss B said, I declare, Tilly, there never was such a life. Having and sharing are having and sharing are the best things in the whole world. Miss Tilly nodded. A welcome friend adds seasoning to any meal. I like that one. A welcome friend adds seasoning to any meal, she said absently. And we have the nicest home, Miss B added. To every bird, its nest is beautiful, Miss Tilly replied. But then she frowned. You know, B, there are ups and downs in all things. The ladder of life is full of splinters. Here they are, giving and receiving all of their things. To all the folks in town. What's the matter, Tilly? Miss B asked. Do you want to tell me? Miss Tilly sighed. Troubles never come singly, as the old woman said when she, troubles never come singly, as the old woman said when her husband took sick and her hens wouldn't lay. Look around you, Bee. Miss Bee looked all around the little old house. What, she asked. Miss Tilly's face was stern. There are none so blind as those who will not see. She pointed to a plate on which there was a small piece of cheese. That's what's wrong. That, Miss Bee peered at the cheese. Why, it's almost finished and we didn't waste a bit. Just so, Miss Tilly sat very still. You can't eat your cake and have it too. When the cheese is gone, we won't need cat to keep away the mice. If we don't have cat, we won't need snowdrop. If we don't have snowdrop, we won't need clover meadow. <gasps> oh no, cried Miss B. You don't mean we'll have to give them up. You love them too, Tilly. Miss Tilly frowned and began rocking again. I'm not denying it, B. What you never have, you never miss. But I've had them now and I'd miss them. I guess I've been a bit of a fool myself. But he, is not as but he is not a wise man who cannot play the fool sometimes. There's the last bit of cheese. What are they gonna do? I think you're very wise, Tilly, said Miss B softly. There's some that wise and some that, <laughs> there's some that's wise and some that's otherwise, Miss Tilly replied. When there's sense in the well, it comes up in the bucket. You're never too old to learn. And when the heart speaks, the head should listen. I turned a deaf ear all these years, but I'm listening now, B. I'm making up for lost time. Miss B nodded, hopefully. Miss Tilly sat forward. Old habits die hard though, and I'd listen easier if we could, could find a way to knead cat and snowdrop and clover meadow. He who keeps what he doesn't need will need what he cannot keep. Even a bird should sing for his supper. Miss B's eyes filled with tears. Oh, Tilly, she wailed. Now, there's no use crying over spilt milk, B, said Miss Tilly. Forewarned should be forearmed. But this time, I'm not. Miss Tilly sat up straighter. Heaven helps those who help themselves, she said firmly. We have to put our noses to the grindstone, B. We have to think. The moon rose in the sky, the stars came out one by one, cat twitched, snowdrop spell chimed, and Miss B and Miss Tilly rocked the whole night through. 
Toward morning, Miss Tilly spoke. It's always darkest before the dawn, she said. Keep thinking, Bee. The sky turned pink at the edges and then a startling gold. Suddenly, Miss Tilly leaped out of her chair. I've got it, Bee. It's a long road that has no turning. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Miss B tottered up. What? Tilly, what? Don't keep me back, B. I've work to do. Work? Now? Of course now. It's now or never. The sleeping fox catches no hens. Out of my way, B. Miss Tilly tied her apron strings and rolled up her sleeve. She scalded the churn and poured a bucket of sweet milk into it. Then she began plunging the paddle up and down, up and down, faster and faster. What are you doing, Tilly? Miss B asked timidly. I'm saving the day. I'm pulling the chestnuts out of the fire. I'm taking the bull by the horns, B. Are you making more butter, Tilly? Can I help? Thank you. No, too many cooks spoil the broth or the cheese. <gasps> You're making cheese? But Tilly, I, I can't bear the thought of one more crumb of cheese. I can't bear the thought of even the smell of cheese. Miss Tilly's face was red. Sometimes the cure seems worse than the disease, B. There she is with her old turn. <laughs> but we have to choose the lesser of two evils. What can't be cured must be endured. In this life, B, we have to take the good with the bad, the rough with the smooth. Who, uh, the rough with the smooth. He who wants eggs must listen to noisy hens. She stopped for breath. <gasps> There's no accounting for taste. Our new friends like cheese and there's nothing lost that a friend gets. We'll make it, they'll take it. The smell will bring the mice, so we will need the cat. The longest journey starts with a single step, B. The place to begin is the beginning. Miss B clapped her hands. Oh, Tilly, you're wonderful. Miss Tilly smiled. You see, B, she said. Where there's a will, there's a way, and all's well that ends well. Man does not live by bread alone, B. Haven't I told you that a million times? Yes, Tilly. Oh, yes, indeed. The end. <laughs> there's Cat with the big old cheese wheel. The Big Cheese. That was the final chapter by Eve Bunting, illustrated by Sal Murdoka. I think every single one of life's sayings was in that book. <laughs> Miss Tilly knew them all. <laughs> but now they're getting more cheese. So they get to keep the cat, the cow, the meadow, and all their new friends. Love that. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening.